And thanks for joining us. We're back here to talk with Heather Cole. She is the Senior Director of Impact Strategies for United Way of Southwest Michigan. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you in the studio it's today. It's good to be here. Thank you. We're going to talk today about something that is foundational to a lot of the stories and a lot of the work at United Way of Southwest Michigan, and that's Alice. Yes. So introduce Alice to us. Who is Alice? What is Alice? And why does it matter? Great. Absolutely. So ALICE is an acronym that stands for Asset Limited Income Constrained Employed. And it's really a way to describe households who are working hard, they're earning more than the federal poverty level, but they're still struggling to afford the basics every day. Okay. So Asset Limited Income Constrained, constrained, but they're employed. Correct. And and that is is ALICE. And so how do you receive that information? What does that look like when, when you're taking a look at Alice. Yeah, absolutely. So every year um, there's an organization that United Way partners with. It's called United for Alice. And they put out the Alice report every year. And so it looks at um, all of their partner states, every county, every zip code, every municipality. Um, and it looks, you know, through the American Community Survey and census data and really uh, drills down and gives us a good picture about who's living in all of these communities, who's thriving, who might be struggling, um, and, and how people are earning a living and, and just going about their daily lives in their communities. And then how do you incorporate um, this information into the work of United Way of Southwest Michigan? Really? So um, United Way of Southwest Michigan works very hard to identify what's going on in the community. What are the realities? What are the really... Um, most important needs that that we need to address, and that we can be a partner in um, solving solving some of these important challenges. And so, United Way has identified um, Alice and those struggling yeah. financially as as a way that we can support and, and impact the community in the best way possible. And so, you take a look at as United Way of Southwest Michigan, you take a lot of the different partner agencies and use this information to help understand the the needs or the resource requirements for their different programs but you brought an Alice story in today and yeah, I think that can yep. really help bring it to life for people um, what what is an example of someone at the Alice level here yeah absolutely so um you know, 41% of people in Southwest Michigan are living below the Alice threshold. 41%. 41%. So, that seems like a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So while 14% of these um, these folks are have incomes below the federal, federal poverty level, mm-hmm. another 27, so twice as many, are living in this, this Alice thresh- threshold. Okay. And so they're earning a wage. They're mm-hmm. earning more than the federal poverty level. So they don't qualify for assistance. They don't qualify for, you know, SNAP or, or cash assistance or other other forms of, of aid. Um, but they still don't earn enough to cover all their basic needs like yeah. housing and child care, transportation, health care, food. <laughs> they, and, they just don't earn enough to cover all of those expenses. And the Alice people, sorry to, to interrupt for a moment, mm-hmm. but the folks who are in that Alice category, especially now with inflation being where it's mm-hmm. been in mm-hmm. the last couple of years and mm-hmm. the employment situation being what it is, it must be growing incredibly more difficult for these people to make ends meet. Yeah, absolutely. So we know even though in some areas of our community, um, the population has gone down a bit. The Alice population has gone up a little mm. bit. And so we know looking at kind of the cost of goods, the cost of the Alice basics are growing um, at a faster rate. They're becoming more expensive than the cost of just other everyday goods as well. Yeah. Um, okay. So back to your story. Yeah. Back to the story. So really, you know, this is a look at kind of the reality of life for a lot of people living this in this community. So we have a great partner. Her name is Tess. She shared her story with us. Um, and really, I'll, I'll read it just as an sure. example of what life is like. Um, and Tess says, my job wasn't scrubbing floors, wasn't flipping burgers, or all of the other things we typically associate um, as unskilled labor, paying minimum wage. But it also wasn't paying me enough to be ma- meet to basic needs. I cobbled together a schedule that had me working 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, picking up three shifts a week at a restaurant, and eventually taking on contract projects so that I could work at home in the wee hours of the morning. I was working hard like I'd been taught and grateful for the opportunity, but I was always making choices and juggling to keep my and then my children's basic needs met. I didn't qualify for Medicaid. I didn't qualify for cash assistance. I didn't qualify for SNAP. I had a good job or jobs, 
um, and was always in the valley between the programs that could help me and the families making enough to own a home, drive a car that worked, or even send their kids to classes and camps. So wow. she really kind of describes that so well of just being in this valley. Yeah. I mean, you know, working nine to five, Monday through Friday, picking up three shifts a week, mm-hmm. uh, extra on top of everything at a restaurant and then the others. It's difficult to imagine. But then what can you do as United Way of Southwest Michigan for people like Tess who are in that situation. Yeah, absolutely. So United Way really is dedicated to improving lives of, of everyone in our community, especially those with incomes below the Alice threshold. Um, and, you know, tr- struggling to to make these impossible choices. So, you know, United Way invests the dollars that are donated to us in ways that help fill immediate needs and also long-term um, solutions for helping people really achieve financial stability earlier. So some of the immediate needs we, you know, focus on investing in are food assistance, housing assistance, child care, car repairs, legal aid, um, tax preparation assistance. So, um, you know, we financially support two-in-one services. We connect people to lots of other uh, programs and agencies that help kind of meet people in their immediate needs. Um, But we also invest in long-term strategies like job training and college and career readiness or um, early literacy, health promotion initiatives like tutoring and mentoring, things that really help kind of set the stage and and set some good groundwork for people to be able to get on a path to um, getting a good job, um, a good paying job (laughs) earlier in life. And and, and so it, it is powerful information uh, information that makes people uh, hopefully more empathetic to to the needs of the community, especially given the percentage of folks who are at that Alice level. Um, so, so what next? How do how can people out there help, and what should they be looking for as far as this is concerned? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just. Um, the first thing is raising awareness of, you know, people are financially struggling and they're all around us. You know, often they're they're hidden uh, in plain sight. But, you know, there are people with Alice incomes in every silly city, village, township in Southwest Michigan. It's every age group, every gender, every ethnicity. It's it's every, you know, there there are people who are financially struggling all around us. And just to kind of raise our awareness that that this is the reality for a lot of people living in Southwest Michigan and and really looking to United Way um, as as an agency who who's working to to alleviate some of these challenges. But you can only alleviate the those challenges by using resources. You can only get resources by generous donations. Exactly. We uh, we appreciate, you know, folks donating <laughs> donating to uh, United Way through their workplace campaign or coming to our events or or going to our website and reading some of our stories um, and donating there. So there's lots of ways that people can contribute their time, contribute their treasure, contribute their talents through yeah. volunteerism um, to United Way and really being involved in, in any way um, that feels comfortable to to people. We like people to, you know, join us and feel like they belong uh, with the work that we're doing in, in whatever way they can. And for more information on how to contribute in whatever way you can, where should they go? Please go to uwsm.org. Okay. All right. That's Heather Cole, Senior Director of Impact Strategies, making a big impact through United Way of Southwest Michigan. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. We appreciate you.